Pen Pals, Part 1, starring Jane Lynch. Nothing can stop your friend from coming to visit for the holidays. Not wolves, not spaceships. Wait, what kind of holiday story is this? Season's greetings! It was so nice to receive your card. Now, I've been doing some traveling in the cold and snowy north, and while it's been fun, I couldn't help feeling jealous seeing all that sunshine down there in Jupiter, Florida. It's been so long since we've been able to get together, so I thought maybe I could visit this year for the holidays, huh? It'd be so nice to see you. Sincerely, Jules. P.S. I promise to bring that fruitcake you love so much. Looks like you may have company this year. Play the next few games to write your response and let Jules know you can't wait for that fruitcake.
Chapter 1 completed. Hello, my friend. I am so looking forward to our visit. As soon as I got your letter, I looked for a flight. But can you believe every single one was booked? So I've had to get creative here and set off mushing. I think some of the wolves have caught scent of the fruitcake, but thankfully, I've got a fast, determined team of dogs. Nothing can stop us. See you soon, Jules. Good thing holiday cooking means plenty of bones to share with that dog sled team. Complete the next few games to get ready for the additional guests.
Chapter 2 completed. Dear friend, turns out there is something that can stop sled dogs. Places without snow. But like they say, when one door closes, another one opens. And wouldn't you know it, I found a flight to Jupiter. In fact, we're taking off any minute here, but I wanted to take a minute to give you an update. It's quite a fancy new airline. They make all the passengers wear suits and helmets and serve freeze-dried ice cream. Not long now, Jules. Finding a flight this close to the holidays sounds too good to be true. But have faith and keep playing solitaire to see how soon Jules can get here.
Hey there! Okay, so apparently that flight to Jupiter was actually a flight to Jupiter, the planet. On one of those newfangled space tourism rockets, and not the town in Florida. Ha! No wonder the tickets were so expensive. Anyway, our trip to space didn't go exactly as planned. We had to abort on re-entry because of something those aerospace folks like to call engine failure. We all parachuted down, but I drifted away from the crew, and now I'm alone on one of those deserted islands. Don't worry, though. I've got enough freeze-dried ice cream to last me at least a few more hours. Another change of plans. But if anyone can find their way, it's Jules. Maybe. Keep playing the next few games to get ready for company, just in case.
Chapter 4 completed. I made it! <laughs> oh, and I want to introduce you to Dale. Turns out he was on the island too. We got to talking. Well, he doesn't really talk. He's been alone on the island for like 20 years and kind of just mumbles now. But either way, we really hit it off. And I told Dale, hey, you only live once. And if we ever get off this island, I'm going to take you to Jupiter. Jupiter, Florida, that is. Oh, I wouldn't go back to that planet if you paid me. Well, the only catch is I did promise you could try your fruitcake. Hope it's as good as you remember. Happy Holidays! Crack open some eggnog and cut up that fruitcake to celebrate a wild adventure. Well done. <laughs>